You know, if there's one thing that Lieutenant Surge <clears throat> in the anime has taught me, for that matter, you never evolve stone evolution Pokemon too early, for you'll see sometimes that is not the best solution. What's going on guys, it's Nate Cinderace here and welcome back to another video. For this video, we will be doing episode 3 of the Pokemon Stadium playthrough. I know, we said Violet there. <laughs> In the last episode, we took on Misty of the Cerulean Gym. So today, we got, after receiving the key from Misty, we have access to Lieutenant Surge's Gym of Vermilion City, which is really Vermilion Gym at this point. But anyways, without further ado, <clears throat> let's begin. And I hope you're enjoying, hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, then please, like the video, comment on the video, and yeah, there's unique descriptions in every every video. I try and make them as interesting and engaging as possible. So yeah, with this gym, yes, it's full of electric types, but there are counters. Surf right, turn, surf and right, true, anyone? So. Keeping that in mind, we've got to really choose our Pokemon carefully. <laughs> Open Electrode, or that self-destruct if the need arises. Uh, we'll bring Kadabra again, that was really good in episode 1. <clears throat> uh, bring Vileplum, I like Vileplum. Good fire type just in case. Yeah, we'll just bring Charmeleon. Um, <clears throat> we really need to think about ground types. So, I don't want to bring Dig. Earthquake, perfect. And the last Pokemon we shall bring. Let's bring Marowak. It's not a Pokemon you often see. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, clear my throat there. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so our first opponent is a Sailor with a lot of water types and a flying type along with a fighting, so it goes without saying we need a good electric type. There we go. Team's all set. Here comes the first opponent. Easy victory should be within reach. Hopefully. I mean, this gym's kind of tricky. In round two, when I first got to round two, couldn't get past this gym. At all. It was just... It was terrible. I tried it with red tools, no less. Oh. Not every day you see a Spearow using Thunder. It's a regular Zapdos. It's a regular Zapdos with the size for Moga. There we go. One hit. Not a problem at all. Now, I haven't mentioned this, and I cannot believe I've gotten through three episodes and not brought this up, but... Every gym has its own quirks, not just the Pokemon, but the the look. Like the Frog type gym had rocks everywhere on the walls. Cerulean gym had the sea at the bottom, like the water at the bottom. This gym has electric orbs at the top. Um, we'll see them again in a moment. Yep, there's Slowpoke. The remaining Pokemon count there's one behind the electrodes. The they have those things like... Yeah, there they are. It's like electric orbs. It's pretty cool. The fire one is the one I'm really looking forward to. That's probably my favourite one out of the eight gyms. I can't wait to get to episode seven when we do that. So yeah, easy win for electrode. You should see Electrode's painting animation if you haven't. 
it's pretty uh, pretty weird in a good way but anyways we're already on our second opponent see full of electric types and a porygon so perfect pokemon is graveler marowak Fire Bones just for the resistance anyways. Hey, an electrode, and it's not a shiny. No, 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 no. It's the nickname effect. Now, I do believe Electrode's the fastest Pokemon in Gen 1. You've got other good contenders like Jolteon and Aerodactyl, but Electrode's the fastest, so... There we go, there's the animation I was talking about, just the eyes bulging out. <laughs> I love the old school animations, they're just so fun. But yeah, Electrode, Jolteon, Aerodactyl, fastest Pokemon in the game. Then you've got Chansey with the highest effect, eh, defense. Highest uh, HP, Cloyster with the highest defense, highest special, I think is Mewtwo, honestly, I don't know. Probably, sounds about right. If not Mewtwo, then Alkazam. She only leaves attack. I honestly don't know who has the highest attack in this game. Oh. HP, defense, special, and speed. They're easy enough, but attack. I don't know, but anyways, we're, we're taking this place to town. There's a Porygon! I love Porygon. Porygon's such a cool Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided. Who goes Rock Slide? What's that? There, it's a hit. Hey, Porygon's not really got the best stats in this game, although at the same time. Yeah, at the same time, like if it was used in the Petite Cup, then Oregon would probably take the, everything to town. So here we go, another Psybeam. Graveler's not going to survive the next one. To avoid that, we're going to switch. Yes, we're going to switch. I can't remember. I think it was Marowak. Yeah. I should say, with um, Magnemite, for those that don't know, this is Gen 1, so no Dark types, no Steel types, no Fairy types. So Magnemite and Magneton are just pure uh, electric types. So no quad effect weak to. Um, Ground, but it's still effective anyways. Ow. And then Polygon breaks apart. See between Pokemon breaking apart or disappearing. It it happens often like Magnemite, Magneton, Polygon, Jinx. Um you could say Vile Plume. But it doesn't really disappear, it just kind of goes down, just hides in its petals. Oddish closes his leaves. Oh, I think I've always one more example. Um, we go with Marowak. Huh? No, I never picked Vile Plume. <laughs> hey. Let's bring our own Charmeleon. Um, I've got to think of one more example to the Pope. Hey, Charmander! One more example. Here's the first move. A decent hit. See, there's 151 Pokemon in this, so it's like you've got to think all the animations that they all have. Um, Yeah, I know this game doesn't do Charmander justice, but then again, Charmander's a stage 1 star, so it's not going to do much against our ground type. Although, considering. 
Yeah, it's the way they say the Nidoran types. They go Nidoran male or Nidoran female. Oh. Oh, wow. There you have it, folks. There's a one hit kill move. We have Horn Drill. There's also Fissure and Guillotine to look forward to. Uh, no Sheer Cold, no Fissure. No, that's a lie, Fissure's in this, but no Sheer Cold anyways. A bear hit which did over a hundred. Charmeleon tanking the hit like a pro. I'm going to say this now, I'm bringing Charmeleon to the next episode for good enough reason. Uh, there is good enough reason why Charmeleon will come and let's just say there's one Pokemon I'm hoping to see. If I have to redo the episode again and again just to see said Pokemon, if the trainers don't use it when they have it, then so be it. There's just one thing I want to do next time. Oh, I used counter. I thought it was dig for some reason. Oh, okay, actually, never mind. Never mind. We'll do damage. We just turned into a, we just turned a mistake into an opportunity. But we're not doing that a second time. Nice one, Charmeleon. There we go. Easy and out. Nice one, Charmeleon. We use Charmander in episode 1, Charmeleon in episode 3. Charizard in episode 5? Nah, I don't know if I'm going to do that, really. It's just a coincidence. Here we go, three battles on and it has only been 12 minutes. It has only been 12 minutes. So... Okay, I thought of an example. It's not really disappearing or breaking apart, but it is a really horrid fainting animation. It's Kangaskhan. When you knock out Kangaskhan, well, the mother falls, but the baby flies out of the pouch and then kind of jumps back on their feet. It's like, yeah, so like, it's really weird. Very grim too. Earthquake does the world good. And you survived? Wow, okay. Here's something you won't see every day, especially if you're a modern player. Strength is not, not very effective. Yep. Back in Gen 1, it was fine. There's other moves like that too. Um, Bite, uh, Sand Attack I believe, Gust and Karate Chop were all normal types in this game. Now the only one I can understand is Bite, because Dark type wasn't a thing. Pardon, but the rest of them? I don't know why. There we go, sir. That's exactly what I was talking about. They have a thing against rock types with drown types easily surf now this is nothing like the Raichu in the anime so it does have good moves so we use Vile Plume, it's the only thing we have that will resist surf Paralyzed. I was gonna use stun spore, but I decided not to. I felt like stun spore would be a bit too risky. But we really need to get this petal dance off. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'd be cool. What's this? <sighs> I, I think we're gonna lose this, guys. I really do. We may lose. Fireplume takes out Raichu with his next attack. We should be fine. Yeah. I think we've lost, guys. There we go. Fireplume just does just disappears like that. We are in trouble. Because even if Marowak, even if Marowak survives, we still have another Pokemon to deal with, and they could be faster and hard, hit just as hard. Okay. We need to be faster than the next Pokemon. We need to be lucky with. Surviving with 27 HP is not likely, but we'll see. We'll, we will see. <sighs> oh no. Oh, wait a minute. Sonic Boom. If this Voltorb uses Sonic Boom, we'll still have 7 HP. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Come on, Marowak. I'm not gonna look. What? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> we won! Wow! Marowak! Marowak? Oh my god, no way! Marowak! Well done! I knew that was the right choice. Ladies and gentlemen, we received the key from Surge and opened Erica's tower. Wow! <laughs> Marowak! I, I don't know what to say! I, I don't know what to say! I've never seen this before, I think it's quite cool. I've seen it once, but not really much. Oops. Marowak. Oops. Do it again. Oh, I'm just sure if it changes the. Wow, Marowak. What? 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 Can I not even see the Pokemon I have? Marowak is ah. Ah, there's nothing in there. Whatever. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a lucky break. Marowak is the MVP of that episode, and frankly. We were lucky to survive that water, that surf, and also live through that sonic boom anyways, that was lucky enough. If, if Voltorb used takedown, could have been a different story. But with that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we will take on Erika and her gym. If you liked today's video then please like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel for more content. You can also check out my Twitter that I'm active on on a regular. It's the same name as the channel, it's says Nathan Cinderace, and the link to that is on the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.